determine follow scheme this is under load demand control part 2 which is under boiler control system plus we are going to discuss unit load development program which comes under coordinated control scheme load demand control can be categorized in three basic types boiler follow scheme we have discussed already coordinated control scheme we have discussed already then comes turbine follow scheme which we are going to discuss in this session this is the diagram showing turbine follow scheme we shall be using this diagram in our subsequent slides request it is hope that this session is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe turbine follow scheme a discussion on the load demand control of the boiler control system cannot be complete without mentioning the turbine follow scheme the turbine follow scheme shown in the figure is the opposite of the boiler follow scheme the load demand signal is sent directly to the boiler control system to regulate the boiler firing rate and the turbine control valves follow by controlling the throttle pressure on a load increase for example the load demand signal causes the firing rate to increase first the throttle pressure goes up as the increased firing rate generates more steam the turbine valves then open to admit more steam to the turbine and brings the pressure back to normal the turbine follow scheme provides a tight control on throttle pressure but its response to load changes is very slow because the valves do not move until the firing rate has been adjusted to the new demand level this scheme does not make use of any available stored energy from the boiler because of its slow response to load changes there has rarely been any boiler control system with the turbine follow scheme alone however this system is mainly an offshoot of the coordinated control system and is often included in a coordinated control system as an automatically selected control mode to be used when the steam generating capability of the boiler is temporarily limited because of loss of burners fans pumps or pulverizers or similar contingency operations unit load development program under coordinated control scheme a coordinated control scheme typically includes a a unit load development program
the unit lobe development program is that part of the coordinated control scheme that receives the load demand from the load dispatcher and checks the demand signal against the allowable operating limits of the unit the demand is subject to the maximum load that can be carried by the boiler turbine generator unit and the minimum load desired during online operation the demand can also be automatically run back in the event of a loss of a major piece of plant auxiliary equipment such as losing one force draft fan one induced draft fan or one boiler feed pump which limits the load carrying capability of the unit a maximum rate of change is imposed upon the load demand to ensure that unit load increases or decreases are executed within the limits that are safe for the operation of the boiler turbine generator unit the demand after having been processed in this manner is used as the load demand signal in the coordinated control scheme request it is hoped that this session was useful to you please press like please subscribe